Okay, so the important thing that we're trying to get out of this is that um, angular momentum is a conserved quantity. Okay, we just said that in the previous one. Um, so, but as long as there's no force being applied to an object in the tangential direction that would speed the object up or slow the object down, as long as there's no force doing that, then the momentum of the object doesn't change. Does that make sense? So, if um, I think in the same way as if you if if there's no force being applied to an object linearly, then that object doesn't speed up or slow down. Then that means that the momentum of an object moving in a straight line is it remains constant. Okay, so let's let's see an application here. The, the, it's actually an important application of how momentum is conserved in somebody that that is spinning. Okay. Uh, I wish I could give you a couple more examples. Maybe I will. Um, so, if uh, if you've got an object that's spread out like that and spinning spinning about the axis of rotation like that, and it's got a certain uh, angular momentum initial. Okay, so you can see the the inertia is spread out. So we know that L initial is equal to I initial omega initial or it's equal to M it's equal to radius M V. Okay, those are the two options that we have. Okay. As long as there's no force as long as there's no force being applied uh, so you can see this is rotating like this. As long as there's no force applied that changes the velocity or the speed, okay, then that means that the momentum is doesn't change. Momentum is conserved. Okay? So as long as there isn't this force, momentum is conserved. But then the interesting thing is, if this object can somehow rearrange the 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 distribution of this this mass to say say now this got folded in say now this got folded in and, and it moved closer okay I, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying so now all of this mass suddenly moved into this area over here momentum would be conserved because which means that L final must equal L initial. And so I initial, uh, I final omega final must equal I initial omega initial. So, so this is what we're seeing here in this example. So the diver starts off by having an outstretched body. Okay, so you can imagine he's just outstretched. And he's going at, he's rotating at 1.2 revs per second. Then he pulls his arms and knees into his chest. Okay? So what does that mean? It means when his arms and legs were outstretched, he had a large rotational inertia of 9.4. Okay? Meaning there was more of a resistance to, to, to rotate. And then when he brought his arms in, um, that, ro that resistance to rotate, that rotational inertia, decreased by, looks like, even almost a third, or more than a third, okay, to 3.1. Okay, great. Now, how are we going to solve this? Well, is there some force, as he's falling and, and rotating, is there some force that is changing the momentum? Well, um, no. The answer is no. And why is that? Because if you consider, um, if you consider, let's let's draw again. So if if there's the the diver, we know that 
he has a certain center of mass, okay? And gravity is applied to the only force acting on him as he's spinning is Fg. And it's acting on his center of mass. But then when he curls into a little ball, okay, Fg is still acting just on the center of mass. So this gravitational force, even though it's pulling him down, it is not um, changing. It is not changing his momentum, his angular momentum. Okay. So that means momentum is conserved. His final momentum is equal to his initial momentum. So I final omega final is I initial omega initial. And we know the ratios of the, uh, that's 9.4 and that's 3.1. And your, your revolution per second initial is 1.2. So the final revolutions per second or rotational velocity is 3.6 inverse seconds. So what, what that means is because your momentum is conserved, if your inertia, rotational inertia, drops, then because it's conserved, your rotational velocity has to increase. Okay? In order to maintain that same value. Okay, cheers.